Italians patrol the shores of Austria, holding the Mediterranean sea lanes open for troop ships and food to pass. Destroyers conceal troop ships behind smoke screens, hazardous work, for there are many enemy submarines beneath these blue waters. Along the Austrian coast, the Italians engage shore batteries, sea raiders. Meanwhile, the French steam out of Algiers to join a British squadron. The orders are secret. Only the commanders know their target is the Dardanelles. The German submarine falls upon the fleet. Suddenly, a periscope is sighted. Torpedo boat destroyers go into action. Deck guns begin firing. Depth charges are dropped. And the enemy disappears. The Hellespont lies at the end of the cruise, where Leander knew the currents and many other warriors. With battle flags at topmast, the British and French begin to shell the Turkish defenses. And under this bombardment, the British are landing to spill their blood in a venture that failed. Back in the North Sea, steaming out of Heligoland Bight, Admiral Van Scheer, the fleet's commander, hopes to fall upon a British squadron, destroy it, and slip back into his base. But the British learn the Germans are out, and the Grand Fleet, 151 strong, is running out to meet the day. Is into line, he's beyond the horizon is Von Scheer and the high seas fleet waiting. German crew. Engines disabled, her doom is. And destroyers dash in at full speed to launch. Those are fired at the enemy's line. ship's yard arm flies a signal, submarine sighted, and again the destroyers begin an attack. Depth charge cans are dropped this time, and 300 pounds of nitro sinks down upon the radar. And, and the curse stripped. And though the British have lost heavily in men and ships, the German fleet has missed its day and will never fight again. King George visits the fleet to honor England's heroes. Early in the morning, a small Italian motorboat is on patrol. A battleship is sighted. The Austrian flagship St. Stephen. A crew asleep. Dazed by the two explosions, men pace the decks. They stand by, waiting for the order to abandon ship. But the commander does not give the order. Men may die, but they will not give up their ship. Decks are washed.
fight in the air like eagles. Many come to earth in flames. There is a fascination. Here is King Albert of the Belgians and his queen held by this fascination. They meet Nunjasser, surviving 43 air victories to fall in a transatlantic flight. He takes King Albert over the line. Here is Alfonso of Spain, come to wonder at these strange warriors. Baron von Richthofen, Santa, is the Red Knight of Germany. He has shot down 81 planes and will himself die soon beneath the blue smoke of British guns. Richthofen's flying circus becomes the byword of the Germans. He cruised high in the clouds, diving on his victims with flaming guns. Captain Vinimer is 22 years old. To the French, he is a nidal. A dead shot, 53 German planes fell beneath his fire. And he will follow them soon into death. Quentin Roosevelt lost his first battle, and here he fell shot down in flames. 